I'm Jorge Ribas, and you're wondering... Just so we're all in agreement, oil is kind of the worst, right? Its emissions pollute the air, gas costs a ton, and it tends to cause wars. So while policymakers are trying to come up with a better energy plan for us, engineers are out there trying to come up with a better and cleaner way for us to get around. Hybrid and electric cars are already on the road, but where's the much talked about hydrogen engine? Turns out it's on a road trip. So I'm heading down to downtown Washington, D.C., and we're gonna see some of the cars that are part of the hydrogen road tour. And it's nine different cars by nine different automakers, and they all run on hydrogen power. Unlike the SUV that I'm currently driving, which is a gas guzzling, very un-eco-friendly car. So we're here at the Washington DC pit stop for the hydrogen road tour and I'm with Ryan Hardy from Honda. Ryan, tell me about the car we have right here. This is Honda's FCX Clarity. This is the latest fuel cell vehicle developed by Honda. Wait, 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 back up. What's a hydrogen fuel cell and how does it work? A single PEM fuel cell is made up of two plates, two electrodes, and two thin layers of platinum-based catalyst separated by a plastic membrane, which when fed with a fuel, reacts electrochemically to create electricity. By stacking together single cells, you make a fuel cell stack to produce the required amount of power. Okay, okay, Mr. Science Guy, that's enough. Let's get back to what really matters, the cars. How much would you pay to fill this, this guy up? The fuel economy of this vehicle is 72 miles per kilogram at $5 per kilogram. The tank stores four kilograms, so 20 bucks to fill the car, and you're good for 280 miles on that 20 bucks. If you were to equate it to miles per gallon. In terms of miles per gasoline gallon equivalent, this vehicle gets 74 miles per gasoline gallon equivalent of energy. Hydrogen fueling stations are still few and far between, but the infrastructure is growing. There are stations in LA, Boston, and here in Washington DC, just to name a few places. Back at the tour, I decided to test drive the hydrogen model of my own car's make. This is our Nissan X-Trail fuel cell vehicle, or FCV. Under the hood now is actually quite different than a normal yeah, car yeah. because the fuel cell system actually, which is producing electricity, is underneath the passenger seats. The hydrogen gas tank is located in the back, and the electricity generated by the fuel cell also runs everything else. But the most important question, how's the drive? Is that it? Yep. It's on. And just like that, I'm driving a much quieter and cleaner version of my own wheels, with emissions that are nothing more than water vapor and a little bit of heat. Still, while the ride may be green, the processing of hydrogen and the manufacturing of the car itself isn't. Ideally, you would have a renewable energy that's splitting water to be able to uh, make the hydrogen and then it would actually be zero carbon footprint on the vehicle from an operational standpoint. How far along are we to seeing these cars everywhere? Earlier, the National Research Council has projected that by 2020, we could have 2 million of these vehicles on the road. Now, still, that's a small fraction of the 250 million vehicles on America's roads today, but it is significant progress, and it does take time for this new technology to penetrate the fleet. So is it future yet for the hydrogen car? Because it obviously isn't for my car, but let's let the future meter decide.